hi I wanted to do a video I've never done a video like this before but I wanted to do a video on um, my summer favorites um, I've never done a video like um, favorites of the month or anything like that so I thought I'd just like do a whole collection of what my my whole summer favorites are and I've had a lot of trouble with the lighting. I've been sitting here. I've moved the camera up. I moved it down. And so hopefully, you know, this lighting goes okay. Um, first, I'm going to start off with um, things that I had just totally loved using this summer. And... I'll start off with nail polishes and if it you know if the picture goes black I'm sorry um, I got all my stuff in a little container here like this <laughs> got it packed full of stuff and you just one thing I've noticed is you don't realize um, how much work goes into uh, one of these videos or any video for that matter but especially one of these videos like um, you know your favorites of the month collections and stuff like that until you do one um, I've been planning on doing this for a well a little over a week and um, to run around and get everything together in one spot and then you're like oh I didn't want to leave that out and it just takes a lot of work, you know. I, I have a um, a great uh, appreciation for other people that make these kind of videos because it is a lot to get everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with it and um, quit yakking. Um, some things that I have been loving this summer is nail polishes. And these are just a few. I do want to do a video on um, my nail polish collection. Um, these are just a few that I've gotten. And then these are two um, Essie polishes that I've gotten. And this one, I debated and debated on getting. Um, I wanted it for a long time, ever since I first start, saw it. Um, my favorite color is Periwinkle, and this totally reminded me of that. This is Essie, um, and the color is Bikini Sotini, and I love this color. In fact, I just got done taking all my old nail polish off and clipping my nails down because I don't like to keep them long. And um, this is what I'm going to be painting my nails with today. Okay, so that's it for nail polishes. Now, two, we'll go on to lips and the mouth. Um, one thing that I really like and I have found myself using it quite often I've got one in my purse and I put I have one in my um, nightstand that I put on my teeth before I go to bed and that is um, a whitening pen for your teeth and it has this little tip here and you just click it and then the product comes up in the brush and you just brush it on your teeth um, the thing about this it works really really well and I got this at the dollar store I think it was at Dollar Tree is where I got this from and I couldn't believe it I got one thought I'll just try it out if it doesn't work or it's not too good you know I only I only spend a dollar on it um, but I really like it and I think it does pretty well um, so that's 
something that I've been loving this summer. And also, this toothpaste is something that I have been really enjoying. And this is the Crest 3D White. Um, I've only been using this for maybe a couple weeks now. Um, I have noticed a difference uh, in my teeth that they are whiter than what they were. I am a big coffee drinker. Um, I love Starbucks, but I just, I like flavored coffee. So I'm not like, you know, a person that can drink just regular coffee. It has to be like the foo-foo kind, you know, with flavors and all that stuff in it. But it's coffee nonetheless, which will stain your teeth. And I'm an iced tea drinker. I drink iced tea year round all the time. Um, but I really have uh, liked this. One thing I do not like about it too much, it doesn't bother me a whole lot, but the flavor is not really great. It is kind of foamy. Um, well, let's squirt it all out here. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but it's, I don't know. It's kind of, the camera's kind of funny because I've got my lights on my, um, on my camcorder because any lights that I used in the, I'm in my living room, any lights I used in the living room, I couldn't see. Like my whole silhouette in myself just completely blacked out. Um, so if it looks like there's a strange blue light or it's really bright or something like that it's because I've got my camcorder lights on just so that some things would show up but I keep looking at the lights and then it's making me see little spots oh well <laughs> um, but this I'd give it a try if you um, are interested in using a whitening toothpaste I, rec I highly recommend this and then um, for lips, I have really enjoyed these. They are the Revlon. Uh, they are the Revlon Balm Stain. Um, I've got them in two different colors. These two here, and the light one is in Cherished Devotion. And this is what they look like. I hate that that cast a shadow because the light's so bright, but oh, it is what it is. Um, and they're just like a crayon. They just turn up and then hopefully they go back down. And then this one is called Lovesick. Um, I have this one on right now. This one is a little bit more brighter. I don't know if you can really even... And there it went black again. Okay, camera's doing crazy things. This one really makes your teeth look white. At least it does on camera. Um... But I really have enjoyed these. I did try another color. Um, it was a, uh, a coral color. And I took it back and exchanged it. It just did not look good on me. On my coloring, I did not like it at all. But I've really enjoyed these this summer. And the next thing is mascaras. Um, two mascaras. Sorry, it's my phone. Um, two mascaras that I have really liked um, that I've been using a lot of the first one is made by CoverGirl it's the Lash Lash Blast Volume and that's this one And it is in the color black. Very black. 
I always get, I never get brown. I always get black mascara. And then the other one, and I always get waterproof mascara too. And the other one that I've really liked is Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. And that is this one. Um, this, the CoverGirl one, I don't notice too much um, problem trying to get it off at night. Um, however, the falsies, trying to take it off with, um, you know, I use like an eye makeup remover. Um, this stuff is a bear to get off. It is, for me it is. Um, it really stays on. And I always put, you know, like two, three coats on anyway of any mascara, but um, I did want to show you the brushes. The brushes are vastly different on these two. Um, and I was really surprised when I opened up this CoverGirl one and I saw this brush. It has the little rubber spikes on it, but it is really big. I mean, the barrel of the brush is just really big. And um, when I opened and pulled that out, I was really surprised. And then the brush on the falsies looks like this. It's kind of curved up a little bit and wide. So that's the two mascaras that I have been really loving this summer and using a lot of. Those are the only two I've been using. And let's see. Next, I'm going to, let's see, for my hair, this is something I've been using a lot of. Um, and I really like it. I got this small bottle. I'm so sorry about the light. Um, I got this small bottle. It's the um, Organics Moroccan Aragon Oil. Um, I got this small bottle for, I think, three, three or four dollars because I just wanted to try it. I didn't want to invest in a big bottle. Um, I got it at Ulta, and it smells amazing, and you just... You know, it doesn't take much. You put just a little bit. Um, I put like maybe a dime, dime to a nickel size in the palm of my hand. And then just rub my hands together and just rub it through my wet hair when I get out of the shower. Um, the one reason I was hesitant about using something like this is because my hair is um, very fine and very straight. And it will not take much of anything to make it look stringy and lifeless. I mean, it can pretty much do that all, with, all on its own. So I was a little hesitant about trying something. That's why I got the small one. Um, but I have really liked this. It leaves my hair really, really soft. It doesn't weight it down. It doesn't make it greasy. Um, so that's what I've been using on my hair. And this is um, something that I've been spraying on my face for a nice little refreshing pick-me-up. Uh, this is by, Sef um, not Sephora, I'm sorry. This is by Philosophy, and it's called Hope Springs Eternal. This is a deep sea ultrafine hydrating mist, and it's for your face. Um, I got this, I purchased this from QVC, and it is just like a very cooling, um, very hydrating, it smells really good, and um, sometimes I'll put this after I wash my face when I come in from um, being outside or being in the pool or something. I will, you know, I get in the shower, wash my face, and then I'll spray some of this on. It's really nice. 
And let's see, while we're on the topic of philosophy, I'll go ahead and show you this stuff. Um, this, I also bought these two things from QVC. I buy all, well, I'd have to say all of my philosophy from QVC because they get such amazing deals on their philosophy and it's always the bigger sizes. Um, you could never walk into a store and get the prices on a 24 ounce bottle of philosophy that you would on QVC. Um, but this is, and this came with it, this is a little lip gloss. And this is the only lip balm that I've been using. I'm not a big lip balm person. Um, I know everyone's been crazy about the um, baby lips and the, um, the EOS. And my daughter does have a couple of those. Um, I just don't find myself putting on a lot of lip balm or gloss as far as that goes. Um, but this is really nice in summary. Um, it's called Beach Party. And it goes with these, this collection. This was all a set. And this is a bath and shower gel. And then this is the lotion. There you go. And it smells like what you would imagine being at the beach would smell like. And that light is driving me crazy. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've been loving these. And one more thing from Philosophy is um, Summer Grace. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because that light is so bright. Um, summer, this is uh, Summer Grace. It is by Philosophy. I also purchased this from QVC. And um, I just love all of their, all of their scents. Um, they have several, several different scents in the, um, Grace collection. Um, they have, I just drew a blank. They have Amazing Grace, Pure Grace, uh, just a lot. Um, and this is one that they came out. It's limited, you know, for a limited time for summer. And I actually got this one last year. But I love it. And I'm going to do a separate video sometime of um, just philosophy stuff because um, obviously I have a little bit of an obsession with it. And I have quite a few things. Um, and now a couple of things from Victoria's Secrets that I have um, been using. Um, this is one of their um, whipped body souffle. And it's in a tub like this. And this one is called Sheer Water Lily. And open it up here and show you what it looks like. It is very, very thick. Very thick cream. Very moisturizing. And it smells like heaven. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, this is the thickest kind of lotion um, or cream that you can get from Victoria's Secrets. Um, and it's the most hydrating. It's the, the body souffle. So this is what I've been using. And then the other thing from Victoria's Secrets that I've been using, um, seems like I've used a lot. It, like I spray this on all the time and it's hardly gone down any at all. And this is their um, Beach Angel Summer Edition. This is the lotion and the 
body mist and these smell amazing too everything I I'll say that about everything everything smells amazing um, I'm just a really big scent person I love scents I like the house to smell like something um, I always want to I always have a scent on um, and I have a lot of stuff because of that um, but these are awesome highly recommend those and let's see the next thing is grab my stuff here okay um, next thing that I have loved this summer of course iced tea and I have it in my Starbucks cup and um, I love this too because it's a nice refreshing cold coffee drink and it's the uh, Starbucks mocha frappuccino in a bottle and another thing is this I'm obsessed with this this is the Sobe life water it's the Pacific coconut it is just I love it I love coconut in general um, you know, if you don't like coconut, you would not like this. Um, but it tastes so good. It's very refreshing. And to go along with that coconut theme, these I just can't get enough of. These are Blue Diamond Almond Toasted Coconut. I'll show you what they look like. Oh, these are so good and again they're not it's not um, overwhelming coconut it's a hint of coconut with the almonds but I just cannot get enough of these and next thing I'll do is candles I have a huge obsession with candles too um, I have a lot of candles that could be a whole nother video all by itself is my candle collection I've got a cabinet for fall and winter candles and I have a separate cabinet for spring and summer but what I've been burning this summer are these candles here this one here is called beach flowers love it and this one is pink sands this one I haven't burned yet but I plan on it <laughs> it's called sand castle and this is like my all-time favorite it's called cottage breeze and this one I have this cute little topper on it that just comes off like this and then when you have this topper on your candle and you light it it keeps the candle flame from bouncing all over the place and your candle will burn evenly straight down instead of being lopsided and this is just a cute little um, beach themed topper and to put it out I just Put this little lid right in here and it snuffs the candle out no smoke in the house or anything like that so that's really nice now on these other candles that I burn I also I've got a topper on those too that I put on here and you can see how evenly these candles burn just straight down um, not much residue left on the glass so you get all of the candle burns um, completely and these are awesome if you don't have these on your candles just go and buy one at Yankee Candle um, and try it out you will notice a big difference in how your candles burn 
highly recommend those. And let's see. Almost finished. Um, another thing is a summer must have for me is books. I read all the time. Um, I mostly read mystery books. Um, I read either, you know, paper books. I read books on my nook. Um, magazines. I love looking at magazines. Um, I don't subscribe to any magazines. This one actually just came today. This is my daughter's magazine, so I'll flip through it. Um, I used to get quite a few magazines in the mail, but I don't anymore. Um, I have a couple that I get on my nook. Um, so I still read a couple magazines on my nook. Um, and then this is something fun that I got. Um, that I thought would be kind of neat. Um, this is a five-year journal and it's a questions, question and answer a day. So what it is is that over here you'll write the year and then up here it has a question for you. Um, and this one happens to say, what is your mission? And then you write your comment down there. Um, and like the next page here for the next day, um, what are you reading right now? And it has, you know, the five different um, spaces for five consecutive years, if you want to do it like that, which would make the most sense. But... Um, I just thought it was really a neat idea to have a, a journal which kind of asks you questions um, and you put your responses and you have five years worth of, you know, what your different thoughts were to these questions from year to year. Um, I bought this at Barnes & Noble um, on their website. And it was, I think, 14 or $15. And I, I won't lie, my daughter told me, you know, that I would never keep up with this and write in it every day. And I really have tried to keep up with it and write in it every day. I have missed a few days here and there. Um, so that's kind of a challenge you know, to keep up, to write something down every day. That's a challenge for me anyway. And, let's see. Well, I've only got two more things that I can think of. Um, this is my summer purse that I carry. I've had this for, um, a few years now. This is a Dooney and Burke um, satchel. I'm not sure what the proper name of it is. Um, but it's got this um, fun little beach print on it. And I love it. Very roomy can, I can really put lots of stuff in here. Um, so this is what I mostly carry during the summer. Sometimes I'll change out and um, just carry something else. This bag is really heavy. It's just a heavy bag on its own. And then by the time I get done stuffing it with everything, it's really heavy. Um, you know, it doesn't have a shoulder strap it's just the handles um, to be honest it's not a comfortable bag like to go shopping in a mall or you know someplace that doesn't have a cart where you can set this in it's like a small suitcase 
but nevertheless, I love it. And I've got one more thing um, to show you that I forgot to get. Sorry, Phoebe. That's okay. One of the candles just rolled on the floor. Nothing major. Um, this is another um, kind of a silly um, thing, but it was a summer essential that I wanted to have. I'd never had a pair of these. And um, I'll let the camera find me again. And that is a pair of mirrored aviator glasses. I just love the way these look. Um, I love that they're shiny and they just, to me, they just are like a summer essential. I don't know why. Um, so that's it. And that's the things that I have enjoyed this summer. Um, can't really think of anything else. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, I hope you guys are having a great summer. Um, and I look forward to seeing videos of whatever you've possibly been liking this summer or the past few months. Um, so I will see you um, in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.